Welcome guys to the Imperial Empire. This is another multiplayer battle. I'm playing again with my friend Rowski, who's playing as the vampires, and me, Nathan, the Emperor, playing as the dwarves. I am bringing six dwarven warriors. One, two, three, four, five. And then I have one somewhere around here. I also have two dwarven warriors with one, sorry, one dwarven warrior with a great weapon. Two of my classic Iron Breakers, two of my classic Grudge Throwers, and as my favorite unit, the Iron Drakes, who are destructive, powerful, and unbelievably good. These guys are meant to kill their heroes. And uh, my friend over here, oh yeah, and I'm bringing the White Dwarf. My friend over here is bringing the classic two Blood Knights, gnarly units. These are all vampires, ready to be killed, killing I mean, they can't be killed. They're already dead, I think, but they'll be killing. Then he's got the Varex Reavers, the Black Knights. These are specialized units. These guys look gnarly. And two of his uh, Crypt Horrors. These are, I, would, I would not fight. I would leave if I was ordered to fight that. Uh, he's got the Broad of the Claw of Nagash, the Swar Machine. And he's brought Heinrich Kimla. Uh, I think that's... Isn't that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty into World War II, so I'm pretty sure there was a Nazi with a very similar name. He's brought a Vargas, and he's brought the Sternsman Grave Guard. Great unit. And for our front line, he's got four uh, zombies. I also brought two Quarrelers. Anyway, his hero is Heinrich Kimmler. Our opponents, Chaos and Bretonia. Obviously, Bretonians bringing two archers. But yeah, yeah, there's archers. Got two men at arms. Got three pole arms. Got two foot scar. You know what? This is very similar to the army I just fought. I wonder if it was the same person. Uh, gray knights, questing knights. Nope, new unit of bowmen and some flying royal pegasus knights. Amazing. And for their hero, they have prophets. Oh no, sorry. Prophetess something woman who's the Lord of Light or works up life, life, not light. A paladin and an invisible horse. The Grail Relic. He's not, oh wait. He's not on a horse. He's actually being carried. Oh, I thought that was just a glitch. <laughs> That's funny. He's holding the a skeleton what's going on here okay I get it I guess so all right so then he's fighting chaos and got to get some uh, obviously when he plays chaos got to bring in the forsaken look at these people oh my god look at him he's having a terrible day so <laughs> look at these people there the archers are in this unit I would not be hanging out with these forsaken these guys look like zombies but worse he's bringing the chaos feral thing chaos another one bringing two these things look nasty and they are nasty obviously he's got to bring his chariots everybody in this game seems to be bringing the chariots he's got some chaos with great weapons in the front line I don't know why he's got oh yes my favorite chaos unit inspiring champions what does the thing say the path of Uranus glory is strewn with something something alright yeah the butchered remains of those who fell. In the, yeah, interesting. Wish they had a better description than that. Um, aspiring champion. Look, beast. These guys are freaking killers. Got some chaos warriors. Chaos marauders, a great weapon. And chaos warriors. And for their hero, they got Archeon the Ever Chosen, who is, I don't know who, I don't know the lore, but he's a badass and he's leading chaos. And yeah, I think that is it. Let's kick this battle off with our classic artillery barrage. We're gonna be aiming at these. Uh, let's watch these shots go in. Please get a hit right now. This one's gonna hit. No, it's gonna land short. Is this one gonna hit? No, it's gonna land long. That sucks. So close, but so far. So, we got some skirmishing already going on. I got a hit though in the middle there. That's good. 
Boom. Oh yeah, got a hit on the inspiring champion. Killed one. Uh, just, an, just a little skirmishing. Oh yes! Bring death to the enemy. Oh man, is this gonna hit? Come on, get a hit, get a hit, get a hit, get a hit. Oh yes! I've already lo I believe they've already lost. No, nope, they didn't lose anybody. At least we're lowering their HP on the unit. This unit's getting wrecked. Oh man, could you really not miss all four shots? <clears throat> anyway, I'm starting to shuffle my line, as you can see. My friend's gonna keep the zombie units in front to absorb archer fire and also just make the enemy tired by the time they hit our real line. Boom, and zombies are so good for holding the line. They're like the best unit for holding the line. They may not do good at killing, and they can't really beat anything on the field, but they are soakers of damage. As you can see, we're starting to focus fire on their archers because that's a bigger threat now. Because we don't really have anything to challenge them right now. Using my archers, my archers, my two call archers to deal with their flying cav and their flying beast. But it's alright because these things are going to do damage. Oh yes. Oh, we got another hit on the... Alright, yes, my fire drakes. This game, they actually are doing something. <laughs> Making them into burning ash. As you can see, we're starting to do some damage. Uh, what's going on in the flanks? Nothing much yet. Chariots are coming in. I try shuffling a unit to engage them, but not gonna do much. Yep, just gonna tear right there. I tell my friend to charge. He's gonna support me. I'm sending my iron breakers to throw bombs on them. Alright, we gotta slow down. Shit is happening. Archeon the Ever Chosen decided to hit the front line. I don't know why. I'm about to move him up my front line to attack. Yeah, they're trying to get out of there now. They realize their mistake of their ways. I'm starting to shuffle units to deal with. As you can see, the archers are getting wrecked. The cav engagement's about to begin. My friend doesn't really realize it though. Oh, now we're fast forwarding. We don't need to fast forward. <laughs> My friend's gonna send support over here. And Krell's been summoned. Krell is a new guy. You guys haven't noticed. He gets summoned by him. The only problem I have with Krell is that he decays because of stupid decisions from CA. So he's already dying. So we have a line. This is what the dwarves want. They want a line. So I'm starting to throw some bombs into this shit. Alright, another iron breaker over here. The Blood Knights are in the war right now. Look at this. They're holding the line by themselves. Surrounded over here, but Blood Knights cannot be defeated this easily. So they're going to hold out for a while. My archers have really fucked up this unit. My Iron Drakes have messed up this unit too. So the Bretonians are not a good mix against the Dwarves and Vampires. This unit's pretty much gone, I think, for the battle. This guy, though, is not. So I'm gonna tell my guy. My, I'm trying to get my iron breakers to change firing positions, having my arty aim into this blob. My I forget where my iron drakes went. They're right here. So they're firing in the middle line because it's breaking. These um these forsaken. You know what though? Every game I play against them, they always outperform everything. That I don't like. I don't expect them to do so well. Obviously, Krell is the only guy holding the line right now. They're about to break through. Hopefully, my order, which just got ordered. Look, we're going to start toasting these guys. But I'm actually aiming not for the Forsaken, but for the Ever Chosen guy. We may miss, though. Oh, uh, we're going to start burning something. Anyway, we're sort of mopping up their flank. My friend actually ran off a unit over. I told him a little bit later. And Petoni is trying to surround us. But I have a reserve iron breaker. <clears throat> so, unfortunately, the Forsaken gets to my arty. At least that one. And it's going to fight. Looks like these two are going to engage. I have three units now. I'm starting to pull them into the center. 
Unfortunately, my Artie, though, has helped a lot with my friend fighting with the Blood Knights. I'm starting to just unload pieces in there. As you can see, oh, I may have hit some friendly fire, but it, it's worth it, though, because look at that. Oh, that was a misfire. <laughs> Sorry. He's probably watching this going like, you bastard. You killed so many of my men. I apologize. Anyway, the Vark guys is in there. Looks like Heinrich Kimmler is in a bit of a bad situation. He needs to run out of there. And he's ordering him to get out of there. I didn't, I didn't even notice this. Oh, man. He's actually... I'm starting to shoot him, though. Heinrich Kimmler is going to get pushed into the enemy lines, though. Heinrich Kimmler goes down. That's a big deal. I'm going to throw my iron bombs. Try disrupting it. That may have hurt him, too, but... Oh, my God. I didn't know he died. That sucks. My friend should have told me. But now, I think, in the new Total War, though, your allies here will help still keep some morale. Maybe not. But who knows? Still pretty even. It's a little bit in our favor. My blood, his friend, his um, his cab in the back is now wrecking, taking taking names. We still have a lot of troops over here, though. We're messing. They got a decent amount of heroes and stuff here. Ever chosen did not do too well against this guy. He was not chosen to beat the Claw of Nagash. <laughs> Anyway, so far, so good. A lot of men on the field. This thing is surrounded by iron breakers. And you can't really beat iron breakers. Nothing can. Cav's still roaming around, though. Doing some damage. This is not a good fight. Men at arms, pull arms versus the Cav. He's going to pull out of there. This is a good fight, though. Are these anti-large? Yeah, they are anti-large, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just throwing bombs in here. We have more manpower, so the Iron Breakers don't care. And it looks like they couldn't last. My friend, I believe, is going to charge. They still have a fresh unit of Foot Squires, but with the morale and the heavy infantry, like the skeletons are scaring everybody, and the dwarves are dealing the death damage, so... Anyway, this is going to hurt. Look at this. You got to go slow motion. This is going to hurt. These guys are going to charge. Boom. Look at this. Look at this guy. He's trying to run. He's going to swing. Oh, just nasty. Look at these things. So nasty. This guy's still out of there. Oh, he got knocked over. He's dead. Oh, yeah. Destruction. Anyway, you can see, guys, we're just mopping up the last of them. They're stuck here. These foot squires are all by themselves. They're 81 kills, though. Foot squires are pretty good. I wish you'd get some foot knights. I feel like Bretoni would have some foot knights. Just burnt somebody over here. The ever chosen guy is back. He's not happy. Got some two iron drakes, though. They're going to toast him. Not sure if they get the kill, though. And we're still mopping up here. I believe this is this is going to kill him. Oh, no. Maybe not. He's a dodger. <laughs> He's going to break, though. Friend sending Cab to help. It's over. They're surrounded. Ever chosen is the last of them. And he got cooked in the butt before he ran off. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is an Imperial Empire. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment giving me some feedback. Also, leave a comment to tell me what I can do better. You know, variety of things. And subscribe for more. And thanks for the support.